Hey everybody, welcome back to the Staple Together podcast for the week of October 31st. Yes, it's Halloween. I'm Peachy. I'm Moose. I'm Sudan. And this week we're going to get right to it with comic book reviews, so we're going to take a spin on the Wheel Wheel of of Destiny Destiny. and see who's going to go first. Right. We we just have the two reviews, yeah. yeah. Looks like a suit on. Looks like right. a suit. Looks like we're gonna go first. Yeah. Suit on. So which book will you guys be discussing today? <laughs> Don't you mean which books? <laughs> oh yes, right. The witching hour. You're it? talking about the Wonder Woman Justice League Dark crossover event The Witching Hour Yes um, it's quite, It was quite a read Quite quite a tri- Triathlon Riathlon What is a reading athlon? Dicathlon no, uh, um, um, I, don't, I don't know <laughs> <laughs> the It was a long It was a readathon It was Re- a readathon. Yep. Yeah. It required a lot of work And effort those covers on those are badass. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I agree. Um, they're in here somewhere. Yes. <laughs> uh, again, they're doing. It's they're part of those uh, semi-virgin covers that yes. DC are doing. And from what I've seen, I haven't seen all of them, but from the ones that I have seen, they're just freaking amazing. Now Peachy's gonna see all of them. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. We got. Is it Mark Tinian? Tinian? James. James Tinian, sorry. The fourth. The fourth. Uh, who is here at Denver Comic Con? Awesome. Or Pop Culture Con? Or Con da 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 da? But it was Comic Con. He was here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> which one did you say was awesome? Uh, that first. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Which one? Uh, the Witching Hour is the first major event stemming out of the new run of Justice League Dark continuing the story from No Justice um, on the magic side of the realm. Um, It kind of jumps in between Wonder Woman and Justice League Dark. And then there is a couple actual crossover books that technically neither of them, but both of them. they, they, They start off on weird bookends. You got Wonder Woman and Justice League Dark, The Witching Hour 1. And then at the end, you got Justice League Dark and Wonder Woman. Yeah. The Witching Hour one. Huh. It's okay, really yeah. It's, so it's, it's interesting, but cool storyline. Very crazy. But first, we should just kind of give a little bit up on... You You might want to give a little bit up on two. So we're actually talking about Justice League Dark 2. First. First. Yeah, which is not part of the Witching Hour, technically. The first little mini story arc in Justice League Dark was three issues. Yeah. Um, and it just kind of introduced the new team. Mm-hmm. Um, we talked about the first one. Yes. And we had, um, in an episode. One in, of them. In episode. Enter it here. Yeah. Yep. Enter it. Episode here. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> and so we're pretty soon. Magic's not working. Yeah. Hmm. Magic's breaking. Because the Justice League screwed things up when they broke the source wall. Yeah. Huh. And the yeah, they broke the universe. Metal happened, we'll get there. Eventually maybe <laughs> <laughs> But things happened. Yeah. Um so I don't remember what happened at the end of the first one. Basically Wonder Woman recruited the team of the Justice League Dark People because she's somehow connected to magic. She needs to figure out why she's connected to magic and also why it's not working okay. for whatever reason. And who are, who are the players on the team? That is what I was going to say next, PG. Oh, sure. um, we got <laughs> we got some man's bats. We got the Z- Zatannas. We got the Bobos, who's Detective Chimp. Right. And um, Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> and um, Swamp Thing. The Swamp Things. Okay. And off and on John Constantine and off and on Wonder Woman apparently, and yeah, yeah. off and on Doctor Fate. We'll get to huh. that. We'll get to that. Dead okay. Man. 
Yeah, which was Dead cool Man. to yeah. see that pop yeah. up. Yeah, like, I remember awesome. him from the new 52 run. Yeah. I actually kind of read a little bit on that. Animal Man was cool. I was hoping he'd make a pop up, but maybe. Continue, though. Um, Sorry. So she pulls this team together, and um, from what I remember in the second issue, because I forgot to. We, we never talked about it, and I didn't reread it. <laughs> so, from what I remember. Uh, Wonder uh, Wonder Woman takes the team to go to Salem, Massachusetts, which is the home of the most fantastic person in the world, uh, Doctor Fate. Yes. <laughs> um, he has the the Tower of Fate is in Salem. Salem's like the center of a lot of magic right. in the universe uh, for obvious reasons. Um. So. On the other side, we have. The 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 one of the trees from the fallout, the four trees landed on Earth. Swamp Thing and Zatanna are on their way to that one to investigate. Yeah. Well, no, Not it was just Zatanna. swamp. It was just, just swamp. swamp. Just swamp. swamp Thing. Yeah. But um, we're at Fate's Tower. It's everything yeah. else doesn't matter. So Fate's Tower is the most important piece here. Yes, always. <laughs> um, so Wonder Woman's like, well, we have to tell talk to. Kent Nelson. <laughs> Ouch. Forgot his name. Um, all, no, Dr. Fate for a very long time. Um, there was also another Dr. Fate um, in 18 issue um, storyline. A couple, I, I think it's been two years now since it's been over. Dr. Fate um, was. What is his name? I'm, I'm really bad Wasn't with it names. like the nephew or something? It was, it was his nephew. It was Kent's. Kent Nelson's nephew. Um, give me like thirty seconds. Wasn't he like the Earth too? No. Fate? No. No. He was Earth one. Yeah. Um, Khalid Nessor. Mm -hmm. Um, and he's an Egyptian, which Nebu, obviously an Egyptian god of order and fate. Mm. So it, it all ties in together. But um, he doesn't seem to be around anymore I guess it's really confusing I don't know what happened with Rebirth but a lot of people just disappeared huh. so yeah we yeah. lost realities were reconstituted back together with some weird convergence kind of like we were talking about with Marvel weren't we <laughs> yeah um, and a lot of people were left out in the cold. Supergirl, or no, Wonder Girl. We this new Fifty Two Superman apparently died. A bunch of just random things. Yeah. Hmm. Not a lot of them are answered Comic as far as we know. Worlds. Yeah, basically. <laughs> um, so they go into the um, into the tower, and uh, for those who don't know, the Tower of Fate. Um, it's basically just. Um, law, um, like law defying magic stuff all the time. Like, imagine like a, a um, Harry Potter's um, uh, the the staircases, the staircases, the but Eschered out, MC yeah. Eschered out. Just nice. imagine everything's MC Escher and a very much all the weird painters in the world all coming together, and that's yeah. reality there. Yeah, um, crazy. So. At some point, Zatanna and Wonder Woman split off from the rest of the gang because they're they actually have magic in them and whatever. So Nabu's like, or I'm sorry, Doctor Fate is like, um, I'm gonna talk to you guys about what's going on because they need answers about magic and what's happening. They're like, well, Doctor Fate's like the most powerful sorcerer in this realm, so we should we should listen to him and figure out what's happening. Um, meanwhile, the Bobo and Man Bat, it's Man Bat, right? In this part? Bat, okay. Yeah. yeah. They are kind of just wandering around the Tower of Fate because he just left them there. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to deal with you people. Um, and they come across a vase with a painting on it. Uh -huh. A painting of a boy that looks very familiar, right. who's named. Might be Khalid Nassar. <laughs> huh. So, um, is it Bobo that, or Man, do you remember Bobo or Man Bat? Someone knocks it over. I think it was Man Bat. Probably. One of the two. <laughs> it gets knocked over. 
um, crumbles into a bunch of pieces, and then Khalid comes out of the base and is like, hey, so, um, Kent Nelson's dead. <laughs> Oh. Dr. Fate is not a thing anymore. Naboo is controlling the helm, and he's an insane person. You have to stop him. <laughs> oh, wow. Dun, dun, dun! Yeah, meanwhile... Meanwhile? Zat yeah, Zatanna and Wonder Woman are upstairs with him, and he's explaining um, how men, um, the men of the Earth, stole the magic from darkness and hmm. from people that it belonged to and took it away from them and they're using it incorrectly and he's tired of all the chaos so the only way he can fix it is by summoning this um other cider oh. other cider otherling yeah called the upside down man <laughs> and holy heck <laughs> yeah. he's a creepy boy you got a shot at him uh i didn't i missed Oh, it was like, it? bam, it? he dodged. Yeah. He's pretty creepy. He's at the very one. beginning of that one, yeah. yeah sorry. No um, so, at the, yeah. He's a creepy, creepy boy. <laughs> See, this is where I would love to have, like, everything come with a digital copy there, DC. Right. Yeah, it's asking too much. Oh, oh. Interesting. Yeah. He's hmm. a creepy boy. He walks upside down. He can't... I don't think he can walk right side up, but that, more about that later. <laughs> um, he's a creepy mofo. Yeah. He. So, for um, listeners, um, he's creepy. <laughs> Look him up. Um, he's, like, white, and um, he doesn't have a face, really. He's a big mouth, mouth with large, spiky teeth. Just a mauve, a white mauve, just creepiness, and it's like... A big tongue. Yeah. Almost reminiscent of a swan, kind of. Sure um, So yeah, Dr. Fate, or Naboo, is like, I'm gonna feed you to this guy, because you're powerful, and he said that he can fix magic, so here we go. <laughs> huh. So obviously, that doesn't work out, and Wonder Woman saves the day. And Zatanna, also. Mm -hmm. Zatanna and Wonder Woman. She, oh, okay. she, she, contri she contributed or something. I thought you meant Wonder Woman saves the day and Zatanna. Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> she also helps save the day, I oh, okay. guess. <laughs> and, and she was there. She, yeah. she, 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 she showed like, hey guys, what's up? See what I did? But if you remember from the first issue, um, she isn't using her magic anymore because, um, because magic is broken. And it is summoning the other lings or whatever, yeah. and was, like killing people. It was corrupting. Like they were doing basic magic, and like yeah, these are tricksters, like, sleight of hands people. Pulling hmm. a rabbit out of a hat, and, the and rab it was dead. <laughs> it, then it turned into a rabid monster and started killing and destroying things. And it's crazy. And same with the audience. Yeah. Huh. Stuff like that was happening, and. Even then, like, we had a moment where the morgue that they had brought all the bodies yeah. to, Man Bat was investigating underneath the Justice League in the new Justice League dark area. Mm -hmm. um, and they came to life, and that's where our Zatanna came in. Yeah. So, like, craziness is happening, and we kind of, then we get to Naboo. Yeah, yeah. So, so. Man Bat, just like functional dude. Yeah. No? Um, for the most part, he's still Bat. Right. He's perfected his serum, apparently, to the point where he can maintain sanity, and this is kind of his chance to Redeem do right. Himself. He's yeah. still fat. He, he's, he's a scientist through and through. He's, okay. he's seeing these morbid, dis, dis awful things, grotesque things he's that like, I would oh, be like, oh. Science. He's like, oh, what is this? Like, oh, how did that happen? Huh. He's, yeah. he's completely seeing all this mystical stuff, and instead of like Barry Allen going, uh uh doesn't exist. This, it's this, science. This, it has to be some sort of science. Yeah, He's this. like, oh, okay, magic. Interesting. He's like, let's find out how it works scientifically. And that's right. that's kind of, I relate to that, but it's cool to see like the, the villain 